9to5photoshoptips.com. Today we're going to be working with uh, the paint can uh, and the gradient tool, uh, which is a G on your computer uh, keyboard. So we're going to just show you here with a blank document uh, all the different items that we can do uh, with these two um, tools. First thing with the paint bucket or paint can uh, that you can do is if you want to just fill a general area it will automatically select um, your color of the foreground color um, placed right on there so if I want to make a change on that make it a red color then I can use that and quickly modify different items in there. Um, you can also use the marquee uh, tool select an area if we wanted to make that white and I can use my paint can and go ahead and, and uh, do the color fill. So that makes it really easy uh, to add color to uh, an existing or a new document. So we're going to take this back to its uh, original form and show you how the gradient tool works. And the gradient tool is pretty cool because you can uh, use this to do a color fill of, of uh, like a background. So um, you have all these different selections in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just work with this linear grade. Um, you have uh, opacity in here, uh, transparency, and uh, different settings that you can uh, play around with. So just use whatever works uh, for your particular item. So um, let's go ahead and we're going to just work with black and white so you can see as a basic how this whole thing is laid out. So once we have the, the gradient tool selected, you just click and then drag it across the document and let it go and it'll automatically fill the document in there. Now you can change the opacity of it if you'd like uh, so that it uh, it is a different um, layout. So I'm going to show you here. We're going to take this back to a white document and then now if I fill this in since I changed the, the opacity on it you can see it's more of a gray tone. So it makes it really nice uh, to make modifications to it. Um, let's go ahead and show you here uh, maybe I wanted to do a reverse and so if I take it this way you're going to notice that it reverses on it. So really there's a lot of different um, items that you can do with the gradient tool. Um, here's here's a couple different uh, uh, areas that you can work with. Here's a diamond shape that you can make. So you just really play around with it and, and get some really unique looks for the individual document that you're trying to work with. 